Today we're going to be looking at the T-Coil case for the iPhone 14 Pro. It contains two screen protectors, two camera lens protectors and one silicon case. And today I'm going to be unboxing this and then applying it to my iPhone 14 Pro. So basically I'm going to go ahead and open this little box and I want to see what's inside. So basically we have the case itself, which is this nice black case here and it has this lens cut out and it has a kind of soft backing which feels quite nice and basically it has this lip as well which allows you to have a little bit more protection for your camera lens so that's the case and then inside we've got our two lens protectors so we're going to be using one of these today so this is pretty straightforward it's just an adhesive that goes on to the back of the phone so what i'm going to do now is just to apply this so that we can make sure that our lens is completely protected. So inside the case as well, we also have these cleaners. So what I'm going to do is use these cleaners to show you what's inside. And then we can basically apply this to the phone. So we have this uh, microfiber cloth. We've got these guide stickers and we've got this alcohol pad. So I'm going to use this alcohol pad. I'm going to wipe this underneath our camera lens protector so that all of our camera shots are clean. So just give that a little bit of a wipe. And now we're sure that that's all clean. I'm just gonna dab this with my microfiber cloth. This is a separate cloth, but it's just my own. And then basically we can take our lens protector and basically we'll line them up like so. So we've got all the cutouts for the cameras, the sensors, etc., and basically unpeel the bottom here to take off that adhesive. And then we can just stick this directly onto the phone. So really it only fits one way. So now we have a very nice set of protected camera lenses. So now that's installed, we're gonna go ahead and install the screen protector. So we're gonna look at these screen protectors here. So what you wanna do with is just put the screen protector onto the side. We wanna hold the phone like this. And then we're gonna take our guide stickers. So I'm gonna put the first guide sticker on here. So they're sticking out like that. So generally I don't like them putting them over the actual buttons themselves because that kind of gets in the way. And then basically we could put our second guide sticker like this onto the back like that. So we've got two guide stickers kind of perpendicular. So the idea now is to basically take our screen protector. And what we want to do is to have this one facing away from you so that this adhesive side is on this side instead. And basically what we want to do is basically align this up directly onto the phone and so we get it all completely perfect to where it should be and then we're going to use our guide sticker and then put them onto the top like so and basically we have our final guide sticker here and we put it like that and this kind of acts as this hinge so now what we do is we clean this up and then once it's cleaned up and then we pull the adhesive sticker on the back of the screen protector, we can kind of hinge this back and stick it back onto the top of the phone. So that's all pretty straightforward. Now we just have to clean this up so we don't have any bubbles underneath. So I'm going to use an alcohol pad. So this is only the second one in the pack. I used the first one for the lens protector. It's going to open this up. And just be aware of any kind of moisture because you want to get rid of that. And then we're going to use our microfiber cloth to kind of wipe this all away. So it's basically nice and perfectly clean. Now we can use this uh, dust absorber to check if there's any dust. Anything that it picked up, I'm not sure. But basically want that perfectly clean. And then make sure not to touch the screen at all. And then we're gonna unpeel this screen on the side. Ooh, make sure not to take off the guide sticker. And make sure not to touch the bottom of this because it's gonna basically adhere directly on the screen. And uh, make sure that your guide stickers in the right place and basically we're going to hinge this over into the perfect position Ooh. make sure your guide sticker stays on you 
if your glow sticker fails like mine, let's take our dust sticker and then we want to use our dust absorber sticker and we want to kind of perfectly align this so that all of this is perfectly aligned to the edge. And then basically once we are happy with this, then we're going to use the cloth to push away any bubbles onto the edge. Switch your friends off. So we're going to have this big bubble of air here. Just going to push this out to the edge on the side. And there's one in the center here until that's all gone. And then once we're ready, we're going to take off these guard stickers. And then we are done with the screen protector perfectly applied. Last but not least, we're going to put the phone into the silicon case. And now this phone is all inside the case now. It looks pretty nice. It has a very nice grippy feel to it. The screen protector looks good and the camera lens is very well protected as well. The lens protector doesn't seem to interfere with the camera function at all. Very happy with this. I've used this brand before and it's very decent. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.